What do a world war, American soldiers, the missing buffalo herd have to do with mozzarella? Well, we'll tell you in a minute, but first, let's talk about the state of cheese. I'm Elena. I'm a cheese professional with Wisconsin roots. Cheese is my life. And I'm Alex, chef from Paris searching for the most amazing ingredients in the world. We are cheese, cheese lovers. lovers. And we want to help you discover your next favorite cheese. I love pizza. Who doesn't like pizza? Nobody. It may be the most popular dish in the world, mainly thanks to mozzarella, a stringy cheese with superpower. It spreads as it melts. That makes this cheese so easy to love. But not so easy to make. Those who dare to make mozzarella have to work with scalding hot water and then pull and stretch the curds. It's a nightmare. You need years of practice to do it well. And that's why Italian grandmas are the best at doing it. And in the 1800s, some of those Italian grandmas came to Wisconsin and brought their secret cheese recipes with them. Including one of my absolute favorites, burrata. I love burrata, and I love that Bel Gioioso makes such a good one right here in Wisconsin. Oh, oh, look at that amazing texture. It's so delicate. You know, burrata is mozzarella curd in cream that's encased by fresh mozzarella. You know what, I'm even surprised on how soft the outer layer is. Super fresh. This cheese is meant to be eaten as fresh as possible. That's why it's great to have it here in Wisconsin. You wanna hear what I would cook with this? Nothing, I would eat it with a spoon. That's the best of both worlds. This is Caesar's mozzarella. He's a relatively new cheesemaker, but he grew up learning the pasta filata or stretched curd style from his grandmother in Mexico. Mexico? I thought this was about Italian cheeses. It is, and that's what's so cool. Originally, Italy brought the pasta filata style to Mexico, and Caesar has brought it to Wisconsin. Okay, let's taste it. Mmm, mm, I love this cheese. So milky, I find it so comforting. Nice lasagna, you know, you grate this in between the layers of pasta. It would melt so well. But I think it would be even better yes. on a pizza. Genius. In Italy, mozzarella was traditionally made with water buffalo's milk. True, and buffalo mozzarella would be way more well-known in America if it weren't for World War II. During World War II, the water buffalo population was wiped out in southern Italy, making it nearly impossible to get anything except uh, cow's milk mozzarella. After the war, American soldiers returned home craving pizza with, you guessed it, cow's milk mozzarella. The rest, as they say, is history. Looking for your next favorite cheese? You'll find it in Wisconsin. If you're craving more cheese knowledge, watch the rest of the State of Cheese video series.